Hi, this is the quick start with uh, native cam for Linux CNC. When you first load it, you never had anything before. You will need, the first thing you will need is in miscellaneous here, it's the raw material. This is the workpiece, your workpiece. This is the most important, you need it absolutely. What you f you um, set here is the length, width, depth. Let's see, it's only one half inch. It changes, and we have three inches length. It changes, and it reflects what you have, to, what you're go uh, going to work on, and the chords zero zero zero. And we can align this if we are, want to work with the starting with the center. There we have it. Center on x-axis, y-axis center and the bot uh, z axis it's top or bottom if you give me a reason to set it at the um, center i will do it but i don't think it is necessary the rest is just for visual help to uh, visualize what you're, you're going to do we'll do it on top it's simpler okay we can set let's say we have a tubing we can we work on something that is only 100,000 one tenth of an inch we can see what we have here and if the corners are rounded let's see uh, this okay it shows here now center line axis if it's uh, depending on how a line it is it may be x y or z axis if you're working on the end of a tubing you want to make a crown on the end of it you can simply make it square here and the corner radius being anything that is more than half will fit one half so you can work on it and um, you have a better view what's happening exactly what will happen and if you don't want to see it just click here and you just want to leave it um, square or you just want to set the parameters these are what you need it for rapid to z this is the height where it will go down the rapid up to one tenth of an inch and then z clear no sorry z clear okay and the milling here is what you want to why you okay the milling parameters is why you need you need the workpiece here you have rapid to z it's above surface or cut start z clear above rapid to z distance there and clear through it's how deep under below the bottom of the workpiece your cutter or drill will go and if you don't need this that's all simply cancel that x-axis and hide it very important depth is very important this one is important and those three usually you don't change them but you will change depth here okay after this what you need absolutely is a tool you select a tool you change tool and what tool do you use? This is your tool table that was loaded right here. Let's go you let's say you have um, we're going with a one half inch end mill. We use it for rough and finish. Tool use length compensation that will be uh, very interesting but it's not um, implemented yet. It will be a good help for access interface will start spindle clockwise and if you're using if you start a cooling flood or mist and feed and speed you set here the feed is the feed at one at 50 percent engagement and the same for the spindle and the vertical feed step over normal engagement you want to have about 50 percent leave it there it will never go more than that unless you uh, you're milling a slot or 
just uh, penetrating in the material and the minimum step over to minimize uh, tool chafing um, it's important that it's about 15 maybe 20 thousand of an inch I don't know exactly but surely not zero penetration mode ramp down or plunge if you do uh, some engraving you will want plunge ramping down and a step down each loop and ramp down rate after you said this you can start adding something basic shape let's say we add a circle we have a circle that is set right in the middle because we are lying it in the center center and top and uh, the tool if we change the tool to a quarter inch we see it uses compensation this by default will mill inside normal can do a pocket too or it will cut right on the line if you want to depending on what you want to do or cut outside okay it's a it uses two compensation okay direction it will cut count uh, counterclockwise or clockwise and then it starts on surface or user define you can say it start at the um, point one above or whatever and you see what's happening here start over I mean, usually you start at surface I guess and you will cut down to true true this is the 50,000 of an inch that we saw here in the workpiece clear true 50,000 if I reduce this you see that the tool goes uh, does not go uh, as deep as it used to decide on what you want and um, if I want to cut just at the bottom simply or half or user define the same here you define how deep you want it to be half an inch this is the depth of the workpiece it's half an inch and now we have a finishing pass you're cutting counterclockwise and we want to make a finishing pass clockwise you see here that it changed something it added this and if we hide this okay we, you, we see just a tool path select the tool just for the rough and it will cut just the inside it's easy to see this way when with that that's it rough or finishing it will cut the other one how to use it you simply copy the circle copy the tool chain or you leave it just like this and you start over again you make a first run with the roughing tool and then you decide to after it's done you're doing the same with the you changing the tool you will uh, go to another size and it will be for the finishing for the finish okay I guess many times you can use the same and the uh, finishing cut if you try to go 0 0.001 the minimum is what you said here 0 0.5 that's a one it cannot go less than that okay now you can continue with the uh, other shape but we'll go uh, we will use the drill now we will add to change drill in the same here tool number is here and uh, I group my drill because there I can only have 64 different number and I'm going to use a center drill for this one and I will select the drill size here fractional and it will be a drill that is one eighth of an inch right here one eight inch inch and this is the tip 118 degree 
two length compensation, no spindle clockwise, and we set also the feed and the spindle speed, and this is where we set the mode, chip braking or whatever, and those parameters you learn in the documentation from uh, Linux CNC. And we're going to add drilling, we will drill the regular circle of 1.2 inch. If you watch, you see here we have the 50,000 plus the point of the drill. That's why we uh, you are asked for the drill. If you see here it's a bigger drill, one half inch. You see that it needs go deeper here, so it clears that 50,000 the size. So you don't have to uh, figure that yourself. Just select the drill you want, and uh, it will be done correctly. Okay, the drill circle. If you need to drill the center of that circle, just check this. Drill automatically. Let's say for some case it's you have a mat hard material and it's difficult to drill. You may want to just bring it in position and you drill by yourself manually if you have a quill. Okay? It will just bring the drill in top and enter in pause. Pause until you click on continue and it will work. Start and I want to go center drill depth. If I drill automatically, this depth is defined in the preference. What we will see next. Thanks for watching.